Got him on the show. Absolutely, Hope man. he comes back. That was uh, really good. Really, really Funny, good. Funny, uh, yeah, hangout yeah. kind of guy. Charlie like Day. Ah, Charlie. How take are you? Seat right there. We're actually <laughs> on the air. We just. Pleasure to meet you. We just do a come right in, sit down on the air kind That's of thing. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Like people know it's real. I don't like that whole, you know, they come in, sit down during a commercial break, and then you're like, <sighs> <laughs> Just yeah, stare like, at each other. Of, yeah, yeah, you like say things that you, you're like, oh, you should have said that on the air. They yeah, tell the best stories it. before the, the, they come back. Like, what'd you do? Oh, man, I'm tired. Just shit on a hooker. Oh, and then they back on the air. <laughs> like, yeah, fuck yeah, that. Yeah, freeze up. That's <laughs> 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 why you can come in frozen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, Idris Elba's in this movie? Yeah. Fuck, man. I'm obsessed with meeting him. I've not met him yet. No. Why? I, just, I love The Wire so much. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and that's cool. Yeah, that's the only reason. Yeah, I was really like depressed when I found out he was English, just because it's I was like, "It's so odd." Was right? that yeah, strange? Oh my God, he's such a better actor than I am. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I couldn't. I can't. It doesn't go the other way. I'm not going to go to England and butcher their. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, it is humiliating when British actors come. Like I didn't know Gary Oldman was British until I heard him interviewed. Oh, well, he's just yeah, he's crazy good. Or uh, Idris, or who else? Uh, Nick so Nolte many. on the Wire. Uh, yeah, yeah, all those guys. It's, you find out yeah. they're all British. Yeah, and everyone in Batman, fucking. Uh, who bail and, and, and Christian Bale? Bale, yeah. there's another one. Yeah, fuck. Just like he yeah. does amazing uh, American accent. Yeah, yeah. are we yeah. that easy? Yeah, I guess so. I guess if so. you're a great actor, maybe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it's, it's easy. I think Americans they just, just have a more intense like acting discipline over there. It's, you know, like learn every accent and right. Uh, and, uh, yeah. you know, where we're just like, hey, you good at fart jokes? Great. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. Welcome to Hollywood. Everyone in America does, like, their Beatles version of an English accent. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's just terrible. Uh, wow. Pacific Rim. Have you seen it? No. No. Not yet. You're going to love it. I'm waiting. It looks insane. I know it's my job to come in here and say you're going to love it, and I kind of wish I wasn't in the movie and I'd seen it so I could tell people and they'd actually believe me. But uh, <laughs> like, I like I love the movie. Yeah. What do you Unless like about you, it? If you, like, if you hate fun, then you might not like the movie. Yeah. If you're like, you know, like I only like movies like Sophie's Choice. Well, oh, you boy. Know, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. It looks huge, like like a huge movie. That's, a, that's yeah. the thing about this movie. It's It's gigantic yeah i would recommend seeing it in imax which is where i saw it for Absolutely. the first time and and then like my mind exploded what's it about basically it's about uh giant monsters coming out of the ocean and the robots that we've built to punch them right in the face <laughs> uh um you know it's like a classic almost godzilla-esque uh they're called kaiju the monsters are kaiju it's like from uh um, oh so it is like selfie's choice okay very much like <laughs> choice. you know like do i keep the baby which child do i keep and which one do i punch in the face because <laughs> i think it's a lizard from space <laughs> but uh look it's just like a fun summer blockbuster the movie's awesome oh, so you're happy with it it's got, when you watch something or do, do you like critique yourself like ah oh, fuck i hate this or are you kind of comfortable and enjoy watching yourself work you know what? I've been very lucky to have done so few things that I haven't done one yet that I've been <laughs> like, you know, like Horrible Bosses was great. So I, watching that, I was like, oh, this is yeah. this is fun. This is good. I love Sunny. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. And uh, but earlier on, when I started out, you know, I, it was a lot of like, oh, I hate this crap. And uh, I'm, I'm reading that. Wait, first, wait, can we ask him oh, sure. for one? Yeah. One that well, I hated? Yeah, one example. Of, we'd love hearing those. Oh, man. Let, let me... Maybe uh, it was a commercial or... Yeah, uh, yeah. You yeah. I did tons of shitty commercials. <laughs> uh, there's, like, one on going around the internet right now that I talked about on a talk show, which is Thomas's bagel commercial. It was really bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, what I is love it? digging those up, man. Oh, man, like, yeah. Hey, look at the guy. He looked like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so they always get, like, if, you, if you're a young actor and you need to eat, yeah, uh, yeah. They, they always got that on you. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it's like you gotta do a couple, a couple bad gigs. Um, man, what did I do? Like I was like the mailroom kid and like the Mary Tyler Moore special, like just like a lot of uh, oh, schlocky little one-liners. That's what I was gonna ask you about. Did you work? Did, were you, did you have scenes with uh, her or Valerie Harper? Or? Yeah. You oh. know, it was this funny audition where, uh, like, she looks at herself in the mirror and I had one line. It was like looking fine. And I sort of said it sarcastically in my audition, like, hey, you don't have to keep checking yourself out. Like, you look okay. And then I get down to set, and they're like, all right, this is Mary Tyler Moore. 
you can't be sarcastic. You really have to compliment her that she looks very good. Oh, God. So, like, looking fine turned into, like, looking fine. <laughs> a very different thing than what I'd expected. Oh, yeah. no. You, you know. want the fun Mary Richards, but you get the one from fucking... Uh, from uh, ordinary, people. Ordinary, ordinary people. people. Yeah, the yeah. ice cream. Brown <laughs> socks to the son's funeral. <laughs> a little bit. She's very sweet to me, though. It was very yeah. nice. Like, for a first gig, and, uh, you know, made me feel like I uh, belonged there. How is Valerie Harper? Didn't, she, she didn't meet alive, her, right? didn't see her, oh. didn't return any of my phone calls, uh, <laughs> damn none it. of my fan letters. Uh, of course, I wasn't really a fan, i got to be honest. It's yeah. like, that's all before my time. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. I was kind of there being like, I don't give a shit about these people. <laughs> <laughs> that's a job. Yeah, this is a game. They probably sensed the it, door. too. Like, every young actor's probably so in awe of them, and then you just didn't give a fuck about them. Probably... <laughs> yeah, I think there's like a, like a, like a mid-70s, 80s cutoff for, yeah, yeah. Uh, for their f- major fan base. <laughs> yeah. You know? What did you grow up like? enjoying and watching on TV? Let's see. I mean, I, I'm, I, you know, I was, uh, I'm born 76, but uh, probably didn't really pay attention to things till 85. So, yeah. you know, like, the, you know, E.T. and, uh, and Back uh, to the Future. Yeah, Back to the Future, yeah. Star Wars. That's, that's my whole thing. Yeah. What about, the, like, TV shows? Because they were pretty cheesy. You know what I loved was then. Night Court. Yeah, Did you guys yeah. Watch Night oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It was my favorite. I don't know because it took place at night. It was like, <laughs> I, I felt like, you know, like after when I was supposed to go to sleep, and I'm like, oh, this is what adults are doing at night. This is very interesting. <laughs> going to court. They're all going to court. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and sitting on whoopee cushions. <laughs> yeah, the judge is always a card, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's doing magic tricks uh, up there. And never, now, Marky, never seen that. Marky Post is just getting fucking beatings and everything she does in uh, her oh, Lifetime really? movies. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. all she does is play like the abused woman now. In a, I know. She came in and auditioned for us for a part in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. And, you know, it's one of those things where you're like, oh, my God, that's that's Marky Post. You know, we want to cast her because, you know, we all love Night Court. But, like, it, like she was, like, very wrong for the role. Oh, right. so, yeah. like, <laughs> it's really tough, like, uh, to, to see those sort of actors come through and... Was she bad? Well, I can't say she's bad if she's wrong. She wasn't bad. Wrong. It was just like... Uh, she wasn't right uh, for the Yeah, that this woman was supposed to be really... Uh, I guess we didn't picture her as, as beat up as apparently she's getting. Cause right. She looked, very, she looked very good. She looked very good. We found looking fine. We got to... We found looking fine. Yeah, we got to... Get out of here. Is this crazy on the radio? That's quick. Sure. It's Mary so, Tyler Moore in the office. There's Charlie Day. Excuse me. I'm, I'm looking uh, for Jonah Seemeyer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did wow. she right up those stairs up oh, there? I forgot I had another line. Oh, yeah, look at that, another yeah, line. Two lines. Looking fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Looking fine. I'm like checking her out. It's really yeah, you know, what the, that is awkward. You gave her a wink, too, Charlie. I gave her a wink. And now yeah. she's all happy. She's got a little pep in her step. I don't know. That's nice to seemed, you. That seemed a little weird maternalistic I know. Thing. Weird, like mother It's a little son, weird. Yeah, you were a little like, too young to be. But maybe I'm going to bang her. I don't, right, know, what's, right. I don't know what's going on in that show. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Make Mary eat your ass in the mailroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jesus, oh, and I would have done it. I needed, you know, I needed work. I needed money. <laughs> but, uh, I was like, look, oh it's in the script. It's, uh, <laughs> it's on NBC. It's a big part. Uh, that's we, a great first role, though, man. Uh, like, you're seeing what Mary Tyler Moore, even if it's just bad, it's fucking great. Uh, it was a good gig, yeah. It's pretty yeah. impressive. We, 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 the, big time. Mm. <laughs> with uh, Sonny in Philadelphia, were you um, were you surprised with how much freedom the, that's you get sort of the, for con- uh, content? No, not really, because that was really? sort of the deal at F- about doing it at FX, mm-hmm. which was like, here's a place where they'll pay you nothing, but they'll let you do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, uh, right? And uh, just to get the chance to, it's a great show. Oh, Holy, thanks, man. Oh my yeah. God, it's one of the best. Yeah, we're doing we're season nine right I now. Know. Jesus, yeah, amazing. How, how is it working with DeVito? He's great. Yeah, he's obviously. Great. Like, I mean, uh, and I can't. Uh, I can barely keep up with the guy. He's a maniac. You know? Yeah. He can. Uh, he likes his fun, and he can party, and uh, he uh, he never sleeps, and and uh, but he's a, he's a really good dude. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it really is. Uh, there's quite a difference watching a show where you get some real language. You know, real situation. It takes you out of it when you know they'd have said something a little more harsh. 
and and they pull back on network TV like that. I don't know how those shows can compete in this day and age. Exactly, where you can find anything you want, sort of tailor made to you. Yep. And uh, and you're right. Like uh, it's like how do you pull your punches? Takes you right out of it when it's like, nah, you wouldn't have backed off like that or. Yeah. Said something rude. I like the believable dialogue in a sitcom, though. Like, off the funny look, and then the crowd explodes with laughter. I mean, that's it. That gets <laughs> that's me every that's time. That's you. Oh, every time. Uh, sure. Hey, look, you're in the majority, I think. Yeah, so don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Uh, oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. All I would do if I was if working with Danny DeVito is do fucking cuckoo's nest lines. That's all I would do is talk about. Which is odd, because do. most people would think taxi, yeah. I, I love yeah. taxi, too. It's a fucking masterpiece, but cuckoo's nest. Is Man, what lines is. would you do? Just, uh, I bet a nickel. I bet a dime. Yeah. That's all I'd say. I bet yeah. he'd love that. Yeah. Oh, he would never get old. Constantly. So you, you do his lines. Constantly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be, yeah Only his. Uh, yeah. yeah, good. But there's someone that's worked forever. Yeah. Like know, he's right. never every year you could look at his body of work. Yeah. Uh, over over the and over the, the guy year. that I'm sure everyone was like, you you want to be an actor? You right. Know, yeah. Like, exactly. Uh, All right. You're two feet tall and uh, yeah, a little pudgy, a little yeah. abrasive, a little lacking, <laughs> <laughs> lacking, lacking the hair. He was great in Ruthless People. Did you ever see Ruthless People? Oh, yeah. I dare you to kill her when that, he fucking his wife, like Bette Midler, I think it was, was yeah. kidnapped. And War of the Roses too. Yeah, like, he directed uh, War of the yeah, Roses too. That's the thing. Amazing. Like, he's a smart guy. Really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at us blowing smoke up his ass right yeah. here. Yeah, well, it's nice. This is encouraging. He's do not like wanna, a typical you, leading man. Do you want to crap all over him? Or, uh, yeah, yeah, let's just shit on yeah, someone. Let's, we need <laughs> to like, right, make ourselves feel better. Let's get to it. Yeah. He really <laughs> phoned it in. It could have been a much better penguin. <laughs> were, you, uh, were you acting in front of a green screen a lot? Um, no, that was the awesome thing about this movie. How, how they, would they pull that? They actually built giant uh, they built, robots. Like, yeah. well, no, they didn't build giant <laughs> robots. But like they're so giant that you're actually not in the scenes with them. Right. Yeah. Uh, but any any scene that I was in, he built like Guillermo is this crazy director and he's a uh, like brilliant guy. He did Pan's Labyrinth and like won that you know insane. copious awards and like. So he built these like, gigantic sets. Things were always on fire. You know, there were like chickens and dogs running through the streets, and uh, <laughs> you know things were caving in. It was always raining. Um, you know, things would explode. There were practical props and uh, little like creatures that were supposed to be crawling on the big creatures that he built, like tiny little actual wow. creatures. And all right, so you're not staring at a tennis ball hanging from a wire. No, never. Uh, oh, it wow. was never like okay. it was pretty pretty great. And then you see the movie, and then all the CGI, which they really you know, they they did a great job with it when you see it. Combined with those giant sets, and it's the most massive thing. I've is is the CGI Pretty as good cool. as uh, Sharknado? Sharknado <laughs> on sci-fi? Tonight? It's no, no, Sharknado. but it's close. It's on Sharknado, tonight. explain this to me. It's oh, you know, uh, know a sci-fi oh, original. Um, you know how they've been pumping out these movies yeah. where they get people from, like, the 80s or 90s, a few stars, and throw them in these movies? It's uh, here's, the, here's the plot. Uh, storms in the Pacific have uh, whipped up uh, water spouts and sucked up a bunch of sharks. A and lot then they, of when sharks. When they go over land, they fling uh, thousands of sharks out at people. And they they proceed to you know bite people and and uh, very similar plots. Yes, very similar, exactly, uh, exactly. All right, all right. And, I think, uh, uh, a the little special bit more effects money are terrific. This one, I'm gonna guess. <laughs> so ridiculous. Tara <laughs> Reed's in it. Tara Reed. Mary so. Tyler Moore, Valerie Harper. <laughs> <laughs> good. Tara good. Reed. Yep, she's still working. And the yeah, father she's good. from um, Home Alone. Home Alone. <laughs> Now, who's, who's that? Exactly. I, I just know him as the father from Home Alone. We don't Home know his name. Do you want to see the trailer real oh, fast? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we turn you on Come to something on. today, please? This is great. Hurricane David is poised to be the first it's hurricane. storm. That's what's driven them all up north. I've never seen so many. There he is. I'm a lone guy. Look at this. It's really even raining. It's flooding. Tara. And not the plumbing, the ocean. Oh. You need to go home. I'm not going anywhere. I'm from 90210. It's coming fast. Shark right through the window. <laughs> Oh, no. Let me take this shot. Watch this. Yeah. Sharknado. They read a script. Tornado's heading towards the airport. We need to destroy it before it gets to them. Sharks are falling, people. Yeah. Watch out! Look out, the shark's here. climbing the rope. Sharks ring down on them. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna throw bombs into the toilet. This is actually based on a true story. Too many of them. We're gonna Guys, I think I'm in here promoting the wrong movie. I think this is what America needs. <laughs> <You> got... <laughs> exactly, right? Oh, yeah. You gotta see the Ferris wheel. Ah, oh, the Ferris Rolling wheel. Rolling after people. people. Look at that special effects there, Charlie Day. Can you compete with that? 
Um, right? Can you compete with that shit? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And the, and the, but the amazing thing is there were there was no CGI there. They actually killed fifteen hundred sharks. <laughs> that's, that's, that's tough to do in this day and age. Yeah. All the damn liberals. <laughs> um, you know what's funny? That that dad from Home Alone. I used to wait tables here in New York when I was starting out. You know, like the, that that uh, before I was getting those sweet Mary, Mary Tyler Moore gigs. Yeah. Uh, and I used to wait on that guy. Really? Yeah, totally. At the Cornelia Street Cafe, like down in the in, the, uh, in Greenwich Village. And he was okay. He was not a dick. I, oh, okay. I, I, okay. But uh, who's on top and who's on bottom? My now? God, I was just think. thinking that. It's like, you know, how about right? That? Who's what's in going Pacific on Rim and who's in Sharknado? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. What, what's going to happen is that I'm going to be in Sharknado 5 <laughs> one day. You know what I mean? And some kid's going to be young in here. Upstart, that, like, yeah. yeah, one of these interns in the hallway. But check this out. Remember when that guy was in Pacific yes. Rim? <laughs> <laughs> Sharknado 5. Sharknado 5, man. <laughs> <laughs> the heretic. Everyone's yeah. talking about Sharknado. It's on tonight. Uh, so we watch great. that tonight, then we go and uh, check out Pacific Rim. Are you yes. guys out now, or do you come out tomorrow? We come out tonight. Oh, you do tonight. Yeah. What time? Uh, I think like 7. Everyone's seven. doing, that. doing that. Everyone's doing right. that. Yeah, they say, fuck the Fridays. Let's start this yeah. whole thing. Yeah. People Thursday. can't wait. Why wait? Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I think uh, once people are excited, let them in. Let them see it. <laughs> I like to see it in IMAX if it's playing in IMAX. Definitely. You have to see it in IMAX. There are movies that you just have to see in IMAX, and, and that's one of them. It's because. It, the, it's so big, you just want that immersion feeling like you're uh, you're in it. Yeah, watching it made me feel like when I saw, like, say, Jurassic Park for the first time. Oh, man, yeah. And I wish, I, I don't think IMAXs were even around. No. But, uh, you know, can you imagine? But that, I think I went back, like, two nights in a row to see Jurassic Park, like, yeah. three times in a row. I was just... Blown away. Dumb I saw the right. 3D version recently. Um, oh, they really? they re-released it in 3D because uh, there was somebody who I was kind of hoping to put my penis in, and that's what she wanted to see. Ooh, and um, uh, I agreed. It sounds like a great idea. Ooh. And it just isn't made for 3D. It's okay. It was better done than it probably I thought it's it would be. the sexiest movie in the world. To, no, like, not at all. To bring a girl to. No. no. Yeah. yeah. You know, you got the... Yeah. Jeff Goldblum yeah, thing. Yeah. Eaten by Velociraptors. Yeah, yeah, yeah and... getting eaten. Although and... the thing sneezes on them, I'm like, huh? You know. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, you want a little of this? Yeah. But did it work? No. Oh. No. Oh, boy. No. What yeah. happened? Mm. Did you See, blow it? No. It just no. wasn't meant to be. Mm. That's a shame. wasn't attracted to me. That's sad. I would should be. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. But uh, anyway, I saw that and it was kind of, I wouldn't recommend. Oh, sad, man. <laughs> wasn't it just sad? <laughs> Don't say why would she be? Okay. Oh, we hear that every day. Yeah, Tell us that's I'm like fine. nothing. I'm he's, he's good. Look at him. Yeah. Girls generally don't want to go to coffee with him or she something. She just wants to take him to lunch, and they won't even do that. Yeah, just a nice girl to lunch. That's it. That's, it. that's all you want. That's all I want. Little lunch. Little hey, lunch. man. Exactly. Take her to Pacific Rim. That will get you Yeah, laid. see? <laughs> that will there get you go. laid. It probably would, because a girl enjoys a big movie like that, and, and, I, and I would fucking name drop. It's like it's, uh, when the, you, you'll do something. I go, it's funny when he told me when he did that. Like, yeah, well, you mm -hmm. talk to him? Yeah, oh, so yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, you can say that we're we're best friends. Yeah, Besties. that'll do nothing for you. No, <laughs> I'm a terrible name dropper anyway. I'm really bad yeah. at it. Yeah, and girls never care if I drop a name. They just don't give a fuck. Oh. Like, can you introduce me to them? No. Well, nothing. <laughs> Who's uh, any any uh, you know hot uh, what they call chicks in this movie? Uh yeah, yeah yeah we have are you into Asian women uh sure why why not uh, you know um, I have Pasha Lee there's an actress named Rinko who's a uh, lead actress yeah so, yeah uh, look at that wow and she wow, kicks some that. butt and she's uh, beautiful sexy yeah 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 I I remember seeing some like kind of training to get inside the thing and. Yeah, and she looked pretty good doing that. Those poor sons of bitches in those suits like <laughs> got beat to hell making yeah. this movie. Yeah, because they're actually, like I said, the guy built these giant props, so he built the inside of the helmet of the robot that they pilot, and he was like constantly shaking them around like they were on like a, like an elliptical machine for sixteen hours if a day. If they're like, getting punched in the face, it's yeah, got to react that, like you're getting that, exactly knocked right. for a loop. Yeah, so they beat the hell out of them for months. And months. Me, I was like having bagels, eating coffee. These guys, like, <laughs> I had to work about their <laughs> abdominal muscles who'd you play uh, i play uh i play a, a scientist in this movie and it's like a sort of a cocky nerdy guy is is dr newton geisler and i'm like obsessed with the monsters and i have sort of theories about how to stop them and no one will listen to me and so i eventually say uh fuck everybody i can swear oh know, sure I, I say like uh fuck everybody i'm i'm taking to the streets to 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 
sort of solve this problem on my own. And in, in this particular movie, uh, you know, a guy with the brains can actually be a bit of a hero, too. Right. A, bit of a, a bit of a quirky guy. Doesn't always have to be the most handsome man in the room. Or so, the strongest. Or, or the, the strongest. Guy in the, the suit. And, <laughs> yeah, you know, sure. Yeah, the, skinny you know, tie. Good skin. It's none got, of that. None got the that. skinny tie working for I got you. a skinny tie. Yeah, he nice. wants to be a rock star. Of course, he's, he's sort of a geek. <laughs> and, uh, but, but he gets his little rock star moment in the movie, which is good. <laughs> and uh, uh, who does uh, Idris Elba play? Idris Elba plays uh, Stacker Pentecost, which is a great name, and he's like, he uh, used to be one of the pilots of these these robots, and back when we used to be winning the war, and now we're losing the war, and uh, and um, he's sort of like the last man standing. He's sort of like the general of the army, the guy okay. who's who uh, we're. It, it's the army is gone. We're more of a resistance. It's like a, mm. a ragtag group of people coming together to try to. Try to save the day. And he's, he's, is he play a British guy or an American? He plays a Brit. Okay. He, he does his accent. You're a little, yeah, I see the no, I don't mind that. <laughs> uh, like, oh, no, I saw damn. Luther. I actually liked him speaking a British accent. Yeah. It just took a little bit of getting used he to. He plays Stringer Bell. He plays <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Stringer Bell. Exactly. In the the movie. He lived through the shooting, it turns out, and now he's <laughs> yeah. doing this. He's like, man, I'm going to stop these robots, and then I'm, <laughs> and then I'm, I'm going to fucking clean up Baltimore. <laughs> Yeah. I can't wait to say it. It looks really good. It's uh, it's gonna yeah, do well. A lot of action. Mm. It's I like fun, it. man. Yeah. I, I guarantee, if you enjoy a fun movie, yeah. <laughs> you'll yeah, enjoy yeah, yeah. the movie. Because yeah. you know what? It doesn't. It do, it's not so overly serious, mm -hmm. which is kind of refreshing in these big sort of action movies. Which uh, Atlantic Rim? I see it, you giggling over here. What's going on, Sam? Because the makers of uh, Sharknado. <laughs> Yeah, made a movie called Atlantic Rim. They Are you kidding? Right on it. They just took the How entire. How fast yeah. did they do that? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Is it out yet? I don't know. What? But nobody no. should see it because they'll be course filled not. up with Pacific Rim. Well, no, it's like on? you get your fill of Pacific Rim, and then you get Atlantic Rim, right? Boy, they really are. Enough. Yeah. They are terrible people over oh, there. That's horrible. Human beings. Yeah, at least they have integrity. That's I important. bet the CGI wow. is really good. Yeah, man. Well, whichever one of them gets a sequel, that's the one I'll be calling. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is are you like, feeling Atlantic Rim is going to get the sequel? We shot in Toronto. Oh, okay. Starring with the father from... Uh, Home Alone. That would be great. Both of these are in the same movie. Too? You'd be like, I used to wait on your table. That son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that son of a bitch. It is amazing how you remember everybody who was nice to you and everybody who was shitty to you. Oh, coming yeah. Up. You never forget, man. Yeah. The ones who treated you fucking horrible. No, I'm always nice to someone in a restaurant. And, uh, yeah. you know, they're handling your food. Yeah. They yeah. can spit on it. How stupid could you be? Right? Yeah. Yeah, you want to think it, it wouldn't happen, but it hey, happens. Your best, yeah. It happens. Anybody stiff you? Oh yeah. Any celebrity stuff you? No, it was usually just like little oh, old, little old ladies that would stuff me. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like, I mean, I don't have the money. Did you ever follow somebody out and go, "Was there a problem with the service?" Yes. What, that's a, cause that's a really cool thing a server will do. They'll go, like, you know, "Just basically going, what the happened, motherfucker? Where's my money?" Yeah. And what was their response? The service was terrible. Uh, <laughs> they yeah, probably, they can always pull that yeah, out of yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, looking back, they probably had a good point, but uh, it seemed very unjustified at the time. They actually told you the service was bad. All right, that's fair. You know what it was? I remember, I, I remember the, the time they, they had asked, there was like construction on the street, and they were sitting out on the street. So they'd asked to be sat in this like little table way in this private room on the inside. It was like completely other side of the restaurant. So I was running around all day and, and serving people and, and I would have to go into this little back room and check on them and I guess they they felt as though they weren't uh, you know checked on enough. But that like not only did oh, I move yeah. them to like a separate area and then they didn't tip me. And then I, I told uh, them not to come back to the restaurant. But I also knew that I was quitting really soon. Right. So yeah. I could say something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the worst thing a waiter can do is not come back and check when you like you're just sitting there for long. You're doing true. the head crane thing. Uh, like that's worse than because the food. I mean, any dummy can know like they're not cooking the stuff; they're bringing it yeah. to you. So as long as they're prompt with it. But man, when you're waiting there and you're like, my fucking drink has been sitting here empty, and you're looking around, you're trying to like 
anybody that walks by a waiter, you just want to. So maybe they'll tell them. Yeah, let me just say, I was the absolute worst waiter. Were you terrible? <laughs> just total airhead. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, uh, oh, you had the chicken? No, oh, you had the fish, right. Um, uh, let me run back to the kitchen. Uh, you know. Was, you didn't try to be one of those guys that never wrote anything down, were you? No. Uh, I hate those No, I, hate I them. would Too slowly much stress. write everything down. Yeah. And, uh, I'm not impressed. Still get it wrong. Yeah, write stop it trying down. to be off book. Right. Just fucking put my <laughs> thing. You're not impressing it. anyone. Table at eight, and they're just like, hey, what'll you have? And they and, Nod. And they're just nodding. I'm like, he's got to fuck this I up. think hit a microphone. Yeah. Yo, I well, think hit a microphone. You think? It's just a show. Because they give you that nod <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it, I got a super memory. Do you? Then why are you waiting tables? Well, sometimes I think the restaurant <laughs> wants them to do that, right? Like, it's like, Yeah, it's, yeah, they yeah. don't want the... Uh, yeah. Thing. Which I'm fine with, like, please. By all means, studying. write it down. Sure. Yeah, because I'm just... Now I'm all stressed out. Like, did he hear what I said? Because I like it. If you say it and you see him right, you know, you're like, okay, he got that They one. get it wrong when they write it down. Mm-hmm. So you're like, oh, fuck, they're going to get it wrong. Bastards. Or whatever. What, what does this have to do with Pacific Rim? No, they're just chatting. I know. No, and this is just interesting <laughs> things for people to, like, sink their teeth into. Yeah, this is, you know, the you, TMZ stuff. Did you start filming Always Sunny Season 9? Yeah, we filmed the whole season, and wow. uh, we're, we're editing it together right now. What kind of topics are you guys uh, hitting on this year? We got a bunch of good ones. Uh... A personal favorite of mine is we're all sitting around in the bar in one episode, and we're realizing that all these other bars have won all these awards, and that we've been around a really long time and not won any awards, <laughs> which is sort of a, a wink, wink uh, uh, to the show. Yeah, right. And uh, we sort of we you know we go to other bars to figure out what they do. Some are like really bright, bright and loud with the you know uh, loud colors and uh, ring a bell, tell people when to drink, i.e. laugh. Um, uh, you know, others are like dark and moody, and there's a lot of like uh, sex, but not, uh, but it's like period costume sex, so it's not like. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Man. Uh, and then we, we, you know, we try to uh, we try to adopt their techniques to our bar for like this uh, showcase, and uh, and of course, you know, we screw it all up, and we realize that the, we're we're probably to blame. Um, and then let's see, we got we got. Uh, we got one that was written by the guys who write Game of Thrones, oh, wow. which is wow. a weird sort of thing where they were just huge game. fans of the show wow. and they wanted to write an episode for us. And we're like, well, uh, keep the dragons out of it. And, uh, yeah. and How odd cool. is that? You should have kept the dragons in. What the hell? I know. I, well, Come we on. don't have a big cool. budget over there at FX. Yeah. So, uh, Wait, why, didn't, why haven't you guys won any awards? That sounds crazy. What, what do you think it is? Um, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's a good question. I think uh, ridiculous. We've always just sort of been a little under that radar, you know. That I, it's also, I don't know. It's 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 a very sort of young kind of college show, and that's not necessarily usually what what mm. wins awards. It's well written. I think so. It's well written. I I look. I I think it's, it's crazy. But um, what are you gonna do, man? How do you manage to stay, like, undergroundish for nine years? For nine years. Know. Know. At that point, you know, there should be lunch boxes and yeah. all Something. kinds of other stuff, you know, out I there. I don't know. No, we're not usually in those, like, <laughs> comedy issues of, like, GQ or Variety. Yeah. It's like, uh, but in a way, That's I, think, cool. I think yeah. the audience likes that. Yeah. Yeah. I think they don't feel... You like sold sh- out, man! Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, we've been, uh, like, for I better or worse, guys. we've retained our street cred. <laughs> right, right. You know? I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Are you on Twitter? I'm not on Twitter. Yeah, no. I was on it for a little bit. I'm like, I can't. I like it's <laughs> yeah. taking over my life. It's like people are being able to write me directly. Right. Uh, we I, talk about that all the time. It's like in the old days, you it's couldn't just, you couldn't you didn't have immediate access to Burt Lancaster. I know. So, it, 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 you had to go through like 50 people, and he. He probably wouldn't even see it. What, got, you, what you, know, you can't take it? You can't take was it? how much sort of anti-Semitic <laughs> stuff I got. Like, you damn Jews, stupid Jews taking over Hollywood. And, like, I'm, I, I'm I was Irish, joking. I'm Irish, <laughs> and I'm Irish Catholic. <laughs> 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 I'm not even like, you, damn you know, like, I'm Italian-Irish <laughs> Catholic. I, like, but, uh, uh, God so, uh, I was like, you know, you're as, uh, uh, as, as, as uh, bigoted as you are misinformed. It is funny how <laughs> dumb people are. Aren't they fucking morons? Do yeah, you? Do yeah. A lot of angry people out there. Uh, aside from Twitter, then, are there any internet outlets you go to that people bash you or stuff, and how do you deal with it? You know, it's I don't I just sort of ignore anything like that. Yeah. What's actually more 
weird and what I sort of had to get away from was how much like people love you. <laughs> like, the, like, oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah, weird yeah, too. Yeah, weird you know, too, like right. that can get to your head, and then you're like, well, I'm the greatest person alive because yeah, people are tweeting it to me. Like, <laughs> you know, or like a lot one, of like, I, two, I like, suck. will you marry me and have my baby? And then you're like, well, no, I'm married and I have another baby. So, like, <laughs> so you can't know, do I, that. yeah, but but <laughs> but you can uh, jerk me off in the car. <laughs> 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 but you have a really cute picture, and I don't want to uh, be thinking about it. So, uh, sure, why, well, what is this story? <laughs> Oh, no, I'm just saying, like, that's an option. If you don't want to marry the girl because you're already married, you can just let her jerk you off. <laughs> I don't know that that is an option. Jim has, I don't think that's Jim true. has a whole nother I don't think that's in the bylaw. Yeah. Yeah. This bylaw. might be why you're single. This yeah. is why you're having a lady problem. I am truly not a catch. Uh, <laughs> Charlie really has to go. Yes. They gave us a few extra minutes. Are out of here? We're just getting no, back. No, it's, it's, it's your side, man. It's, it's your guys. damn people, man. It's not us. Yeah, they're ruthless. You're busy. I've got to go try to sell this movie all over town. I want people to see we, uh, Pacific Rim tonight at 7 p.m., which is yeah. tomorrow, whenever you want to see it. And it is an IMAX, which is exactly how I'm going to see it here in New York. Right? Yeah. And yeah. we're fans of you, and, uh, and we've been trying to get you on for a long time. So Nobody glad, told me this. I'm glad it finally happened. I figured. Well, I'm happy to be here, guys. So yeah. please come fun. back and see us, all right? Yeah. All right. Very Be cool. right back with a very uh, funny Charlie James Day. Cromwell. Ooh. Oh.